a junior. Can you believe that? I can't believe it. It goes by way too fast. Did you commit after your freshman year? Yes. In high school? Yeah, it was, it was like my first week of my sophomore year. So this is like the seventh or eighth year that you've been like <laughs> top of mind for BYU hoops. I've been a cougar for a long time. Yes, you have. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, well, as a junior, you get to do things like dominate the video game scene in your team room. And we saw a recent social media post of you and Nick Emery playing. I think it was FIFA soccer on Xbox. Uh, who's the best video gamer on the team? <laughs> Uh, that's a good question. Uh, it depends on what game we're talking about. Okay, if we're talking about FIFA. Me, for sure. <laughs> it's been that for a minute. You, know, you can ask any of the guys, and they'll say me too. But ever since the World Cup started, uh, we, we've been playing FIFA a little bit, and it's actually brought us together a lot, and it's been a lot of fun. So tell us about the makeup of this year's team. Uh, more veteran has kind of been a theme. Six juniors, you're one of those, and then two seniors. So finally, this group has majority upperclassmen on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think um, definitely we have some experience, and uh, we've played in big games. Um, but I'm really excited for this year. Uh, I think we're going to get back to playing up and down a little bit. And, you know, I really feel like this team is, is united and together. Um, and I think it's, I think it's really going to be a fun year and a fun team to watch. Why do you feel like the unification is another level this year compared to teams of the past? And this isn't an indictment on teams of the past, but what, but you know, there's a different feel. Why is that? Uh, well, I think each year, I mean, I've played with a lot of these guys now for this, this will be my third year. And so I think each year, um, chemistry gets better and better, um, but I think we've had a, a great off season. We've worked really hard, um, and generally the guys all really like each other, and that that translates onto the court as well. Last year was a different style, right? Heath Troyer was trying to do something different and uh, play better in the half court and play better defense. So now it's a little bit different. Can you describe that difference this year now that Heath is elsewhere and Lee Kamard's on the staff and Quincy's running a lot of the X's and O's? There? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think. Um, I think defensively we have a, a similar strategy and similar mindset, um, and so hopefully we're gonna we're gonna be a great defensive team. Um, but yeah, last year we we tried to get the ball side to side, and we tried to take a lot of time off the clock and uh, make the defense work. And this year we're we're looking to get up and down and make teams run with us and be good in transition. Um, and, and really get that first open good look, whether that's 20 seconds into the clock or, or five seconds into the shot clock. Um, but if, if we really can learn to make the right basketball play, whatever that is, and, and be unselfish and, and share the ball, I think we're going to be a very good team this year. BYU basketball junior guard TJ Haas on BYU Sports Nation. It is BYU Basketball Media Day. If you had a preference, do you prefer to play more with the ball in your hands or to be more off the ball? Uh, that's a good question. Um, I, I like to play with the ball in my hands, um, but you know, with the way we're playing this year, uh, and like I said, if we can be unselfish, it really doesn't matter. And uh, I think if we can all share the ball like like we're trying to, to do, um, it's not going to matter for any of us. And I think everyone's going to get good looks and, um, and feel good about it. Do you feel like this scheme caters to this group? Uh, I guess I don't want to compare to last year, but is it good for this group? Like I, you've looked at the the coaching staffs, looked at the personnel, and said this is going to fit. Absolutely, I, I think I think a huge reason a lot of guys come to BYU is for the style of play, hmm. and and that's to that's to play up and down. And you know, a lot of the a lot of guys that are on the team this year um, that have been around for a little bit, that's that's what they were recruited for um, is is we can play up and down. And so I think we have the personnel for that, and it's going to fit us great. It requires everyone to be in pretty good shape. Mm -hmm. So did it, did you have to change the way your body was a little bit to accommodate this offense? Because last year, you didn't have to be able to run up and down per se, right? Absolutely. Uh, you can tell we've, we've had five practices now, and our practices are way different this year than they were last year. Um, a lot of it is up and down. And, and so, yeah, if, if we're going to be good at this, we have to have 15 guys that are in shape. Who's the f who has the best mile on the team? Have you guys done that? We haven't done yet? the mile yet. Is so. that in the next couple of weeks? Uh, it might be. I'm not sure. <laughs> but it's a thing you do every year, right? Uh, yes, I think so. <laughs> I'm excited to see who uh, who wins. I thought that Nick won a couple years ago, but he had the best. Maybe when you were on a mission. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Well, Nick would tell you that he won anyway, right? <laughs> For sure. <laughs> and he won at FIFA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. TJ yeah, yeah. <laughs> Odds with us on BYU Sports Nation. How are you a better player now than you were your first two seasons at BYU? Uh, well, I think experience helps a lot. Um, this is my third year playing college basketball, and I think that helps. But 
uh, something I've worked on this off season is just is just my confidence and, and believing in my abilities. And I, I feel like I, I got away from that a little bit last year. Um, and so that's something I've worked hard on this year. And um, I think the more confidence you have out on the floor um, and the more you believe in your ability, it allows you to play a little more loose, a little more free, and, and, and play your game. And hopefully I can do that this year. What led to you not being confident last year? Uh, that's a good question. I feel like there are a lot of different aspects, but... Um, you know, you just, I don't know. It, it just, it's a good question. I don't know, to be honest. So, but you, igno- you acknowledged, hey, I'm not feeling the same love of confidence. Because con- I would say the confidence is one of the top three adjectives when I look at your game. Mm-hmm. So what have you done in the offseason to establish more confidence other than I'm going to be confident? Like, it's more than just that, right? Yeah, I think... Um, it's something that you have to work on every single day and you have to tell yourself I'm confident and it starts when you're when you're by yourself in the gym or when you're playing pick up with lots of guys it's it's believing in your game believing that the next shot's gonna go in no matter what um, and yeah if you can just work on it little by little each day uh, it can grow into something great we all need a dose of that absolutely yeah. and it's a no matter fickle, what you do it's a fickle thing it's that. a very yeah. delicate thing at times totally uh, when you and I just asked Luke this, when you look at the likes of opening the season against Nevada, potential top ten team, maybe some people think they're a top five team, and then you have Utah, Houston, San Diego State, among others, Gonzaga twice in the league, maybe three times if you get him in the tournament. Um, what do you think about that type of schedule? I, I love it. I think it's what college basketball is all about. Uh, you travel to play in, in big arenas with lots of people and um, people that don't like you very much and, and that that's what's fun to me. I love going to play at Gonzaga where you know it's sold out and and the crowd is crazy and, and I, I'm I'm really looking forward to play against very talented teams away yeah. from home. What is it about you playing against Gonzaga? Because there's something there that just like <laughs> lights the fire under TJ Haas. I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, it is. It is super fun to play there, and uh, you know I, I've seen the ball go in a few times there, and and like I said, that gives you confidence, and and you feed off that, and I enjoy playing up there a lot. Why is there such an emotional difference between like Gonzaga? It's like a healthy respect, and then there's St. Mary's. <laughs> Why the big difference? I I don't know. I don't know. That's that's a tough question. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Like, there's more, there's more like negative emotion associated with St. Mary's for some reason. Agree or disagree? Like, like more like, okay. It's Definitely like, for the fans. It's, it's How like, is it for the players? Yeah, maybe, maybe it's not. I don't know. It feels more personal with yeah. St. Mary's. Well, we hadn't beat them until, until the tournament last year. Is that year. perhaps why? It might be, yeah. We can't figure out how to beat them but we got it done last you year figured you figured it out it yeah you figured it out <laughs> yeah. and they didn't go to the ncaa tournament because of it <laughs> and all of the <laughs> sports station revels in that yeah. until this the, day the spite level was high on that one yeah it really was <laughs> tj uh always great to talk to you man we look forward to a fantastic season